Welcome to the Songbirds Radio Hour. I'm your host, Reed Caldwell, and tonight we are absolutely ecstatic to have the Shandellas here with us. The, <laughs> the Shandellas further the tradition of multi voiced groups made famous by bands such as the Supremes, Ronettes, LaBelle, the Pointer Sisters, and Chattanooga's own the Richettes, who, if you don't know, were the only all female vocal trio to perform on the Big Nine in the 1960s. These groups helped upend the gender and race-biased music industry and pave the way for women. The Shandellas came together to further these traditions and the belief that when women come together, powerful change can happen. Yeah. They are advocates aligned under the tenets of sisterhood, excellence, elegance, and empowerment. On top of a noble mission, this band kicks ass. The Shandellas exploded onto the scene in Nashville, shaking up the establishment with their high-energy album, Hits That Stick Like Grits. Yeah, I got it right. I said I didn't flub it. There we go. It takes sophistication and poise to be a successful vocal trio. It is difficult to achieve the absolute vocal precision to hone a group like this, blending three voices into a singular, engaging machine merging and weaving vocal parts to create cohesion and a unified group identity. The Shandellas have succeeded on this on every level, creating not only great music, but a killer sound and style that has attracted fans like Beyonce, Missy Elliott, and Anita Baker. Before we get to the music, I want to share this. One of our producers, Charlie Moss, did an interview with the Shandellas last year and got this powerful quote from KC. When three women come together, there is something powerful about that. I really do believe that. And we've seen it happen from our visioning and from our choices. When one of us is brave, we can all be brave. When one of us is scared, we can all be scared. This quote really sums it all up for me. This wonderful sentiment is why we do the Songbirds Radio Hour, to share the power of music. Music is at the heart of everything we do. It binds us together, it creates lasting change, but more importantly, it creates camaraderie and togetherness in a world of divisiveness. Music helps us see the world in a different way. It gives us hope for a brighter future, a future without hate. So, I hope that you'll keep that in mind as you listen to tonight's performance. Just a reminder, all of you listening at home, you're listening to the Songbirds Radio Hour, and now, Let's welcome to the Songbird stage, the Shindellas.
more on this one. Y'all gotta sing with us though. We gotta hear you loud and proud. You should know by now. Bring it right? to the top. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm so happy to see. Songbirds Radio Hour. Dude, how y'all doing now? Okay, okay, okay. I see some familiar faces out here. Hello, hello. Hi. I love the sequins. You guys came dressed ready, yes. refreshed, yes. ready to win. Looking so, lovely. Listen, we did, what was it, Riverbend and we did and River Riverfront. Front. So I see a good few of those faces in here. Hey, y'all. It's good to see y'all again. Hello. Hi. Oh and my this God. shirt. We have, we have a model. Listen. Hello. I love it. Thanks, James. We're so grateful to the Songbirds Museum um, for having us. This has been such an incredible day. We got to go to the Howard. historic Howard High School. Mm -hmm and yes. speak to some Incredible. wonderful children, Incredible. 10th and 11th and 12th grade, I mean, and they were all so sweet, sweet, the best smart. questions. I mean. Okay, so listen, we gotta, we gonna talk later, because we gotta we figure gotta out. We have a lot of singing to do. Yeah, a lot of music to a give you guys. A lot of music to do. Oh! Thank you. <laughs>
You're listening to the Songbirds Radio Hour, and you've been listening to an absolutely amazing performance by the Shindellas. Now we're going to do a quick interview with Casey, Stacy, and Tam. Let's give another fantastic group another round of applause. I'm like, do we do the same formation or uh, <laughs> we mix it up? Just switch it up. Switch it up. Hello, hello. <laughs> We're back. Hi, you guys. Y'all make me feel extremely underdressed, I will say. You look good. This is our this is our cash was... outfit, actually. This is us, you know, every day. Maybe go to the Whole Foods. <laughs> yes. Got go some broccoli. Store, yeah. 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 I was hoping you'd bring me one of those outfits from your uh, your uh, video sure? mon- money. Oh, money. Oh yeah, you want oh, a sequin jumpsuit? You, you want know sequins? What? I would totally wear you that. You know, I'm going to save it in the waist a little bit for you, but it look good. Yeah, it might yeah. actually look pretty good. A nice uh, rainbow-colored... There you go. Yes, a nice yeah, mermaid. Sequins. I can see it. I think I can pull it off. <laughs> I what think I, so. What is, what the crowd may think differently, but um, <laughs> I think I think we can handle it. So, that was a fantastic show. Thank you so Thank much you. for being a part of the Songbirds Radio Hour. Did you guys have fun? Thank you. Before we get started, why don't you introduce yourselves? I'm Casey. I'm Stacy, and I'm Tam, yeah. and, and we, we are the Shindella. <laughs> I love it. I like how y'all got the in unison thing down. Yes. Like, most people be like they would be a little off time, but you guys are, as always, right in time. Right in time. So, <laughs> tell us a little bit how the Shindellas formed, because it's it's pretty interesting. You know how you know Chuck Harmony and Claude Kelly. How, tell us all about that and how oh. you guys got together. Oh my Chuck goodness. Harmony and Claude Kelly, a production songwriting duo, um, based in Nashville. One's from actually from East St. Louis, and one's from New York. And they created a band called Louis York. They are our brothers, our brother band. Mm. Um, we uh, are all based under this label called Weirdo Workshop in Nashville, Tennessee, Franklin, Tennessee. And they came up with this idea for, it was in 2015, 14, uh, to show women, in particular black women, um, in a different light than was at that time. It was a little bit more divisive and competitive. So they had this idea to show women loving each other. What would happen if women came together, supported each other, encouraged each other, and kind of represented girl groups like they used to be, just elegant, excellent, and beautiful, and talented, and graceful, and I loved the idea. I am actually one of the first, I'm the first member of the Shindellas. I heard this idea and fell in love with it. I thought about how my grandmother would love this and my baby sister who i want to think i'm pretty cool you know (laughs) i think she i thought she would love it and she actually does too she loves us and she gives us little critiques and everything she's really funny (laughs) um but that was in 2016 and 17 we until 2017 searched and searched and i searched and i met a million women who were all beautiful and talented, but something was missing. So every time it was a no and a no, or they didn't, or something was obviously missing, like attitude or grace, or they weren't very humble, or they weren't talented. <laughs> they weren't <laughs> Maybe us. I was stretched. They weren't my girls. <laughs> so after a year and a half of searching, we finally found Tam and Casey, and we flew them out to Nashville, Tennessee to listen to the ideas of the songs we had, to meet the team, to see our space, our creative space, and to see, to hopefully see the vision of the Shindellas. And they and did. Boy, did we yeah. see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that's a great kind of follow up to the next question because I want to talk a little bit about the vision. There's not a whole lot of uh, bands who have a mantra or a you know, a vision statement or a mission statement that has mm-hmm. words like empowerment and elegance and self-love and stuff like mm-hmm. Talk a little bit about that. Ooh. It's so important to us yeah. um, as women in this day and age um, to hold on to these values that represent a type of woman um, that you might not see all the time on your TV or you might not see it in the music industry. It's important to be who we needed to see mm-hmm. as little girls. We always, Casey always says that. Yeah, when we first were all together, 
we sat around, we were in the conference room at Weirdo Workshop in Franklin. We sat around the conference room table. We had a box of red wine. <laughs> a box. A necessity. And a necessity. A necessity right, yeah. Out of these big, like, green crystal goblet glasses. <laughs> And we sat there for hours and we talked about our dreams. We talked, we were all solo artists before. We were all, we're all songwriters as well. Um, and so we, we all had these stories that we shared about some of our uh, positive experiences in the music industry and unfortunately some of our negative ones. And talked about how some of the negative ones almost pulled us away from music completely. And in that moment we said, we needed to be, we wanted to be who we needed to see as little girls. Mm -hmm. And really, I think it's kind of evolved into needing to be who we needed to, we need to see now. Mm -hmm. It's being the people that we want to be around. People who are encouraging, people who are loving, people who are inclusive and supportive. And we want people to come to our shows and listen to our music and know that they are in a safe space, no matter who they are, no matter where they come from, no matter what they're bringing with them through the door. Yeah, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. I, I think it's uh, really cool. We were down at Hi Howard today, and you guys were also talking about embracing your, your differences and your quirkiness mm -hmm. and your weirdness and uh, making that, not trying to do away with that, but trying to make that more a part of who you are. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit, I think that's a great, I, I, personally, I, my wife is out there, she'll probably say that oh, I've embraced my weirdness, <laughs> oh, and yeah. uh, Ooh, she uh, she'll probably agree with that. So just talk a little bit about what you guys mean by that. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, your weirdness is what makes you unique, and mm -hmm. it's what, it's your superpower, honestly. Mm -hmm. And for us, coming together, uh, so our label slash artist collective is called Weirdo Workshop. If that tells you anything about who we are. Um, and so when we came together, we all came in with, so like you said, we had so many different experiences. Mm -hmm. We all came from different backgrounds. And you know, there were some traumas and some obstacles that we had to get over. And so what our music and what our experience at Weirder Workshop has done is it's actually given us, like you said, a safe space to explore all of the weird parts of us, the parts of us that we we've run away from all these years. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of given us the, hey, actually that part of you is beautiful. I love that part of you, you should embrace it more. So that's what we want when we come and we perform and we sing for people, we want them to feel the same thing, so yeah. Yeah, well, I think that's a fantastic answer. Why you're kind of moving, you're moving toward empowerment is what you're talking about, yeah. which I think is exactly what you guys kind of embody. Talk a little bit about you know, your thoughts on the current political climate, especially when we're Ooh. talking about in a climate where you're taught you're preaching a positive message to black women, mm -hmm. black people in general. Talk a little bit about what it's like when you're talking about a time where those rights are being threatened and taken away in a, on a, reg, in a regular basis. How is that? How does that work? It's more important than ever to put out beautiful music with beautiful messages. Mm -hmm. It's more important than ever to come together just like this. And you know, today is Trans Day of Visibility. It's more important ever, than ever to acknowledge people. Even if we don't know, understand, or know, just acknowledge, hey, you're a person, and I see you, and you are, have value, and you're here for a reason. And I think on our next album, you really hear that. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Like, it, we're fighting the hate with love and joy. And that, yeah. And that, my friends, is a shindo. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's great. I think, and that's what this show is all about, is we are working here at Songbirds to empower as many people as we can through music. We give away thousands of guitars to kids every year. That's amazing. So hopefully they'll be able to, you know, play. Yeah, that's thank amazing. you. Uh, be able to play those, those guitars amazing. and learn something about music and be able to have powerful moments like what you're talking about. Because music is kind of this, has this ability to bind us all together and really bring everyone, even if you don't, Every show we've done, we talk about some specific in incidents where music is about uh, almost the only way two groups can communicate. Yeah. And I feel like that's what we see every day. We have shows, people come together, people who don't agree, who politically or religiously yeah. or whatever, whichever way they don't agree, mm -hmm. they can come see a show like what you guys just did and just come together. They can dance, they can do whatever they want. They can have a good time. And we don't have enough of that in our society right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And I think that is what what you guys are doing that makes you so special is the fact that that where you have had negative experiences in the music industry, 
and you have had neck, you really talk, you don't talk about that. You talk about the positive stuff. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. maybe just talk a little bit about, about how you get that positivity out into the world. <laughs> Last night was good for my soul. <laughs> right. <laughs> through writing, through um, spending time with each other mm -hmm. and really encouraging each other, learning from each other. Knowledge um, is the best way to share love to me. Teaching somebody something yeah. is one of the best ways to share love. And um, through our music is really, I can't even like, mm -hmm. just through our music, through, oh, through the like lyrics. I yeah, I, I do too. I would, she, Kay said she wished we could play the whole album because the words, words have power. They, they heal, they change mm -hmm. people's minds. And that's the best way to do it. Yeah, music, music is the universal language. Mm -hmm. And for us, when we came together, a lot of our music was like, we called it mantra music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, those are the things that you heart. should tell yourself every single mm -hmm. day, even yes. at your lowest point. So, you know, that kind of, you know, that message in that music mm -hmm. actually is what moved us. And so we knew it was going to move the people. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, hanging out with you guys all day down at Howard and back here, you guys seem like you're the best of friends and you joke and you have inside jokes and lots of great stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that is like a requirement to be in a, <laughs> a trio together because you really have to know each other. You got to know not just where the musical lines are going, but you also have to kind of know where people's, where you're each other's mm -hmm. musical I don't, I don't even know how to put it, but you know, you have to know each other. So talk so, about the fact that you guys are so tight and together oh, and you got such great harmonies and you're such yeah. great friends. How has that played into your success? I'm I thank cry. God. Mm -hmm. I just thank God. Cause when I was searching for the Shandellas, I was not thinking about that at all. I was thinking about, are they tall? Are they talented? Can they sing a high I mean, C? Thing. All Can of the shallow things. I think you checked all those yeah. you know, What would they look like in this outfit? I was just, the, I don't know, I was just imagining what it would look like. But God was doing something more. Yeah. He was saying, would Tam be as graceful as she is? Oh my God, we call her Tammy Grace Jones Williams. <laughs> one of these. She is so empathetic and graceful and just brings a peace to everything. And I am so grateful for that. And Casey brings the sunshine like nobody else, brings joy and is mediator and a lover and just encourages. I mean, you always feel better when you spend time with Casey. So each of us brought these different unique blessings and i'm just Wait, cool you know she's, no oh yeah. my she's, gosh she is our I'm rock just, our you rock. guys she was the seed member for the shindellas and it was her keeping that dream alive that brought us all together so so don't you dare do it i'm, I'm gonna, gonna tell cry. a little story when we i first came to nashville stacy had been moved out here maybe like four months before i flew out to meet everybody and they're like go pick up casey and show her a good time in this city that you just got to. I didn't know one she, thing. She picked me up from the airport and she's just like, obviously like the most beautiful woman in the world. And she gets out of the car and she's like, hey. And she gives me this hug with her like elegant hands. And I was like, hi. And then <laughs> she's like, do you like vintage shopping? And we go shopping. And then we're kind of just like, what do we do? And I am obsessed with the moon. And I knew it was a super moon that night. But I'm, I'm kind of weird. So I didn't want to say. So I was like, you know there's a super moon. She was like, I know, I love the moon. And me and Stacy, the first night we met, drove all over the city finding the best place to lean back in her car, boozy, and boozy. stare at the moon. Boozy. And that's how we spent our first night together. And then the next day we sang Happy to See You. Mm -hmm. And it was like, she's the yeah. most beautiful, grounded. Grounded. Anytime you're overwhelmed or feeling afraid, she's the one who's gonna have your, grab your hand and be like, hey, we got this. We're getting through it. We're gonna we're gonna wake up tomorrow, and it's gonna be better. And it's true. And it's true. It's my I, friend. I honestly, from the beginning, um, I have to say, we got really what we call soul naked with each other. So Stace had basically transformed the garage at our studio, and she made it a practice space for us. And so when we first came together, we sat in that room. There were tears. There was yoga, mm. there was meditation, yeah. there was prayers. I mean, we just got really, really honest with each other about what we wanted from this whole thing. And yeah. I think that was one of the things that really 
brought us together and it's still what binds mm-hmm. us today still sticking yeah. yes like sticking. grits <laughs> yeah i think that's uh i think that's really special what you have I and mean, i think it's great when you when you go to a new town and you're meeting new people and they say take you out on the town and you go back home and, you, and your friend's like what'd you do in nashville was it fun did you go out and you're like yeah we went and uh, looked at the moon and it was great <laughs> you know and, 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 and it's great to have friends that will do that and yeah. it's great to have friends when you tell them that they're like oh that sounds pretty cool yeah. i think i could do that so well, let's talk. We talked a little bit earlier about kind of the lineage of uh, kind of the power trio. Mm-hmm. How do you guys mm-hmm. see yourself mm-hmm. in that? And how do you also, what elements have you pulled from other groups and kind of made your own and kind of molded a little bit? Mm-hmm. Well, we got to talk about our Mount Rushmore mm-hmm. of girl groups. The, mm-hmm. You got it. The Pointer Sisters. Pointers. Yes. The Clark Sisters. Yes. The Clocks. The Andrews Sisters. Yes. yes. And the Supremes. Oh, yes. Those there's are, more. There's a lot more, but of those are yeah, the Yeah, I mean, there's so many. You, but pulled, some, you pulled some prime, prime <laughs> you've got You've got a little best. bit of everything in there. You've yeah. got gospel. You've got soul. You've got pop. You've got theater. Rock, you've got jazz. jazz. You've got glam. Yes. You've got glam. Grace. Poise. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh craziness those pointer sisters yeah. styling themselves singing everything from country to rock to mm-hmm. pop to mm-hmm. doing whatever they wanted it's kind of like us mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> but if yeah. you can you, you can you know if you have you really the, you really can't box us that's the thing yeah. it's like we literally especially with this upcoming album we're literally exploring all the genres you can imagine so there's something for everybody mm-hmm. and that's kind of what we wanted i mean it's it's genreless but we call it new american soul yeah. So, you know, hope you guys love it. <laughs> well, on that line, the last question I have is, what's next? Mm. Everything. Everything. <laughs> wow. World takeover. Okay. World Just domination. More no, music. Um, different avenues of art from uh, acting. Um, you have you to know, t- tell them. I can't believe were, you made it this far and haven't punched it already. Oh, yeah, we haven't. I haven't, I mean, haven't told them. There's been so many things going on. I know. You, know, you I guys, know. like, we were literally in a movie <laughs> <laughs> on Hallmark. Oh, <laughs> a Nashville legacy streaming on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Yes. And we wrote, we co-wrote the main song for the movie with an amazing producer, Carvin mm-hmm. Haggins. Yes. And what else? We did all the vocals in the movie. Mm -hmm. Did all the vocals, so all the vocals you hear are us. Mm -hmm. And then we got to act. We had a little acting cameo, you Mm -hmm. guys. So it was our first shot at that, and it was it was incredible. It was such a great experience. Yeah, (laughs) more of that. So more of that. More Um, of that. More covers to Grace, whether it's L or Vogue. I mean, you know, no, we're really into fashion, so we're we're, we're trying to explore it all. We all have like a hundred foot tall vision board with all this written. Yeah, we really from do. What I hear, so we really do. We, we got really a lot do. to accomplish. There's I think a that's a big map of all the places we want to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, there's a whole list of all these other artists we'd like to work with. Mm-hmm. Name one. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Missy Elliott. Yeah. Yes. Silk Sonic. Yeah. Mm. Harry Styles. Yes. Yeah. Beyonce. Lizzo. Oh yeah, Beyonce. Yeah. Lizzo. Yeah. Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> Pretty Bad much Bunny. Coldplay. Love Ooh. that bunny. Queen Latifah. Yeah. So many. There's so many. It goes on. Louis York. Louis yeah. York. <laughs> well, you know. I, I think we can say after the show that you guys put on that there's no doubt that you'll be performing with those people quite soon. Oh, thank um, you. Hope you'll come back to Songbirds and, and grace the stage again. Absolutely. For us when, when, you're, when, you're, when you've conquered the world. Oh, yeah. This is special. So. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I just, I'm going to. I'm gonna, we're gonna turn it over to the audience, but I just want everyone to give one last round of applause to the Chandelles. For those of you listening at home, we're gonna play another couple of songs by the Chandelles recorded live at the Songbirds Radio Hour, and then head straight into our audience Q&A. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. It's hot up here, y'all. Can y'all see us sweating? I mean, wow. It just got hot. I would love some water. <laughs> some water. Ooh. Yeah, some water would be amazing. You know, it's volcanic. It's volcanic. Mm. I was thinking about my husband. Uh-oh. This is a newlywed, by the way, you guys. <laughs> Last time I was in Chattanooga, I was an engaged woman. Now I'm a married woman. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. But it's hard. It's hard to find a good partner. That is the truth. That is the truth, right? Mm -hmm. Talk about it, Case Jones. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can't believe, I just feel like I I found a unicorn in Nashville, but oh yes. I don't know. What do you feel like? Stace, how do you feel about it? Girl, let me tell you something. I had 
okay. You don't remember that guy I was telling you about, that ex? Why did he... You ever have somebody just slide in your DM? And uh oh he, And you're like, why? Uh -oh. No. He was toxic. He didn't take care of me. Uh-oh. And I knew I deserved more than that. Yes! Okay? Yes. Like, he was the kind of guy who would make me carry all the grocery bags while he was just walking through the spot. That is disgusting. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh. I am disgusting. No, I couldn't do it. Was he the kind of guy who would pick up dinner only for himself? Yes, and then come home and get mad when I want, like, a fry. Ugh, too much. No, he had to go. He wasn't right. No. Babe, that is devastating. It's devastating, Because you're right? gorgeous, you know what I mean? Right? Gorgeous. Well, I, inside and out. Well, I found my person, you she know? Did. He appreciates she me. Oh, he loves you. He does love he you. He respects you. You better tell him, girl. Values. You know, okay, now, she's a newlywed. I've been married for almost 10 years. Okay. okay? I feel like years. we should talk about yeah, it. Yeah, let's talk about it. If you said you were cold, shoo do up would he offer his coat? Would he or she? Shoo do up does he open the door? Do they open the door for you? Shoo do up wherever you go. Is he treating you like a queen on a throne? Believe me, I don't care. Your love is on the
put your hands together for this one. Come on. Don't you worry. Hey. Baby, I got your money. Don't you worry. Hey. hey. Baby, I got your money. Songbirds Radio Hour. Um, now we're, it's time we're going to do the audience Q&A. 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to let you raise your hand. We'll call on you. Wait for the mic to get to you. Um, use the mic. Please hold it close to your mouth so people can hear your, your question on the radio. And uh, is it on? We're good. All right. Who, have a, who has the first question? Right here. Hi. Hi. I'm a new fan. Welcome. I saw you guys leaving your trailer, going to Riverbend, saying hi to Wanda and oh. Michael. War and Treaty. I was just yes. reading like you guys. They it's love you guys. That is we family. My question is, was reconsider influenced by Natalie Cole? Mm. That oh. is a good question. That is I a love good Natalie question. Cole. We now, love Natalie, Natalie Cole, too. Mm. Yeah. We love Natalie, too. Yeah, we love Natalie Cole. So mm. that, that song actually came from the brain of Chuck Harmony, mm -hmm. as far as production is concerned. All the quirkiness, all of the just... I mean, he has all of it in those fingertips. So we were able to like bring that to life. But that that was that was Chuck Harmony. <laughs> but Chuck loves Natalie Chuck Cole, too. and he loves Natalie. Natalie. He loves we'll, Natalie. Chuck loves good say music. Chuck loves Natalie. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Give it to Natalie. He definitely okay. does. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, ladies. Of course. Wonderful show tonight. You're Thank you. Wonderful me. and so inspirational. Thank you. Thank got you. you. Who else has got a question? Okay, I kind of have two questions, if that's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, the movie that you mentioned. What was the name? A Nashville Legacy. Nashville Legacy. Okay. Um, my second question is, what are your love languages and how do they interact when you're in creative spaces? Ooh. Oh, my I mean, gosh. I regret I didn't ask that We're question. going deep. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Love language <laughs> and how they react in our creative space. Mm. Love my love language is using my hands. I um, like to give people gifts, I like to do small little mm -hmm. things for people, I like to share um, art with people, I like to create, um, I have this thing where I create butterfly crowns, um, and they're just little accessory headpieces, or playing the guitar, or planting uh, a garden like yeah. veggies, oh using my hands is definitely my love language, and in my creative space, I'm always using my hands. I mm. think I could stand to give myself a little break and not, yes. but I won't. Absolutely. Um, just the best way to just like love on somebody is to give them a gift that's something I made or mm -hmm. something that I could fix for someone or something, a clean something for someone. They don't even notice. It's just like, oh, that's a little sparkly. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> Stace will come over if you're stressed or overwhelmed or tired. And you won't even, she won't even realize she's doing it, but she'll like make you a meal and clean the whole kitchen. And the next thing you know, you're like just sitting there, just like, wait, that's my, wait, what's happening? <laughs> Eating the sense. most delicious salmon you've ever tasted. <laughs> and you're like, you've only Jerk been here salmon. 10 minutes. How did this, <laughs> how is this possible? She is so, she's such an acts of service person. Yeah, that was what mine was going to be. I actually really enjoy acts of service as well as gift giving. And so that's one of my favorite things to do mm -hmm. is to give gifts. I mean, every holiday, I, like to give gifts. I mean, yeah, it's like literally we mm -hmm. love giving. So I think where it concerns our music, um, I feel like you can hear that a little bit. We give everything when we're on the stage, like we give you guys our all. And mm -hmm. so, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take it a slightly different direction and say my love language, like the way I like to be loved is words of affirmation um, and quality time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even though sometimes the quality time is like, I need to be alone for two months, <laughs> so I can tell you. Um, and I think a great example of that is we had a session yesterday for a new song that's kind of be on our upcoming it's album. It's so good. Yes. And it's so good. Um, but we were in the studio and it's allergy season in Nashville and it has hit me so hard. My ears were completely clogged and they can tell you, I kept being like, I can't hear you, you gotta turn me up. And he was like, no, but you're literally maxed out. So I was like, oh God, what am I gonna do? And I, and I had to, and I got moody about it. I was like, oh my gosh, I was frustrated. And everybody in the room was like, hey, you sound great, you're great. And it just lifted me up. And then after the session that night, Claude, who is uh, the songwriter we work with, uh, sent me a message and he's like, hey, gold star for the day because I know you were having a really hard day and I saw you struggling and then you flipped it and you got it together and how good is the song? And it just, those little things, they really mean a lot to me and that being supported 
because sometimes they step in and fill the gap where I can be really hard on myself. And so when you work with people you trust that way and who you will allow to love you, really magic can happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Major growth can happen. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah. Um, if I can, I want to share one thing with you. Yeah. I first saw you all last summer during Pride Month. And I remember. In, in 20 minutes, I felt so seen and so loved. And it just really connected with me. And I'll keep coming back to your shows all the time, every time. And I'm just so thankful that you guys have such, a, such an ability to share that love and make other people feel it. Oh and I'm just really God. thankful. We, we love do. you. We what love is you. your name? Lauren? Yeah. Lauren, we love you. Thank you so much for sharing. Yes. Oh. Solomon. Thank you. Well, that wraps us up. Yeah. So I just want to take one minute to say thank you all for being here. Your personalities and your music are fantastic. You really fill the room up. It was just great to have you guys all day. Thank you for going to Howard. Thank Absolutely. you for being here. Absolutely. Thank you all for being good sports about everything that we, we did today. It was just great. So y'all give another round of applause. For this <laughs>Songbirds Radio Hour is made possible through a grant from the Riverview Foundation. If you'd like to attend a live taping of the Songbirds Radio Hour, please visit songbirdsfoundation.org for more information. This episode was produced by Charlie Moss and written by Reed Caldwell. Live recording by James Snyder. Our logo was designed by Mars Michael. Additional thanks to Victoria Sauer, Ray Bassett, and of course, the Shandellas. Directed, edited, and mixed by John Dooley.